It's a bit like the CIA mind training people to believe something. A few months ago, a comedian friend of mine shared this picture on their wall of this woman that was advertising beds for sale for £25. And I looked at this and it was quite clear to me that it wasn't the beds she was selling. But what was interesting was after looking at that, when I was on Facebook Marketplace, I realized that when I saw one of these adverts for these, these beds, that the algorithm recognized that and went, ah, Dave's really interested in these scantily clad women selling beds on Facebook. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, boy. We'll show him more of those things on Facebook Marketplace. And what I want to talk about today is, is the risk of artificial intelligence and algorithms on our thought process. Now, the reason I want to talk about this is because it's very important that you understand how to help your team when they're exposed to AI threats because humans are really great at spotting patterns. They're really terrible at making decisions based on logic. And the problem we have is, as I'm gonna explain in this video, the more you're exposed to something, the more you believe it's true. But this is compounded by social media, which I think is why a lot of people have stopped using it. Social media will reflect that back to you and just give you stronger and stronger information. Now, this isn't a political video, don't get me wrong. I deliberately don't want to talk about politics, but I did see an article on the BBC that I'll link to below, which comes us back to what I do want to talk about is being manipulated and not realising it's happening. So there's lots of interesting things on Facebook Marketplace. The beds that these women are selling, mirrors. Uh, there's this man here selling a set of scales yeah, for £25. They, they look good, don't they? Um, they already come with some stuff to check that they work properly and a little weight. Uh, obviously, I had to blur some of this. I hope that's okay. Maybe these people are. There's the woman here selling a dress. Yeah. Maybe they are genuinely selling these things. I don't know. I doubt it, but it's possible. So if, if you are the people pictured or you know who they are, um, I'm, I'm sorry. I just picked these pictures at random from Facebook Marketplace. Uh, I'm not saying anything to be uh, disingenuous. All I want to show is that there are definitely people that are exploiting it because they're not being picked up by Facebook's algorithms. And then on YouTube, you've got the Elsa Gate thing. And if you haven't got any children, you're probably not aware of this, but YouTube was showing, I don't know how you describe them really, videos aimed at children, well, the children's characters in them, that clearly are not suitable for anyone to watch. Uh, the reason that they do this is because every time someone watches them, they make money from the advertising. So all they have to do is get people to click on them. It doesn't really matter what the content is. But what they found was is that children generally click on things where it's something they're thinking about. So there's videos about injections, for example. So you might find a child's character giving another child's cartoon character an injection. But then they get very, very weird that like you've got one with 10 little Hitlers jumping on the bed. And it's stuff that obviously isn't appropriate to talk about here on YouTube, so we're not going to go into that. But the point is that the algorithm is being enforced by humans' behaviour. Now, when it comes to artificial intelligence, that's going to be even easier to do because AI is going to be able to figure this out way better than people are doing at the moment. And we're going to end up with a lot of stuff that's not correct. I'll link as well to the uh, common human fallacies. There's a really nice article on Wikipedia that lists them off. It's really worthwhile um, thinking about being familiar with those. I, I, I did think about doing a video about this, but it was too long and boring. But maybe we'll, we'll pick on a couple that I'll just pick up on the screen. You can have a look. The point here is, is I've got a few friends that aren't working. They spend all day on social media and they believe all sorts of things that obviously aren't true. Because what happens is they watch a video and they go, oh, that's interesting. And then the algorithm produces something stronger, a little bit stronger, a little bit stronger. Like, like with the political situation ones, which we're not talking about, please don't comment about them. The algorithm is just slowly but slowly pushing and pushing, pushing your viewpoint further and further. And this is a big problem for society. And this is what we need to fix. And as a business leader, your job is to help people understand that journey. It's not to tell them what to believe, to help them understand that they're being influenced, micro-influenced, let's call it that, micro-influenced. So they watch a video, let's say electric cars, that's one that YouTube, uh, Facebook and YouTube love suggesting to me. Electric cars, obviously very bad for the environment because they use more resources, or they use less resources, or they use more resources. But it doesn't matter what you pick because the algorithm will just keep pushing the direction that you start on until you believe it. It's a bit like the CIA mind training people to believe something, and it's a dangerous game. So show your staff the videos where they're being manipulated. Show them the adverts on Facebook Marketplace. Have a little bit of a laugh about it, but there's a serious point here that if they don't understand the risk that they're facing, 
then there's going to be a bad employee because they're going to be at risk of being heavily influenced by something that isn't true, isn't something that's supported by society. So enough of a rant today. I hope that's useful and I'm hoping to do some more videos around this uh, later on to kind of help people understand what the risks and the opportunities are. And obviously, if you, if you work for the Russian government, there's a huge opportunity here. Please don't share misinformation. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.